Freedom, you there, man? I'm here, I'm here. How's it going, bro? Brilliant, man. Brilliant. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. By the grace of God. And yourself? Yeah, man, it's so good, man. You know, just grinding hard, man. Party. Saturday party, man. I was just saying, like, I've just played hit after hit. I had, like, Social Club, Thistle, Tie Brazel, and now you, man. Like, hit after hit, you know? Uh, you're doing good. You're doing good, man. That's where, that's where it's at, man. <laughs> yeah, man. So, come on, guy. Tell us a bit about what you do and who you are, because, obviously, I know you as feed him rapper you've got feed him music group in london you've got like your own kind of website set up for promoting artists and you're you're like business manager but you know tell tell us yourself like who you are what you do and what you're all about man most definitely man all that you just said is, is grinding really that's what it is uh feed him feed him is a london-based rapper and uh feed him music group is the brand that's attached to to the feed him as a rapper and uh, as a I think businessman, if you can put it that way. So within that, yeah, we just put on a lot of uh, up-and-coming artists on our platforms through radio station, through open mic nights and events and things along those lines. So just a movement, really, a movement passionate for Christ, and uh, that's what Freedom is all about. You're, you're a man of many talents, because you're obviously you're a hip-hop artist, a uh, Christian hip-hop artist, and... You've studied music management as well, haven't you? So, like, and you're trying to prom- on your website, on the Feedem website, the Feedem Music Group website. You can, you're trying to actually kind of help people along, aren't you? Like, promote artists and maybe get into management a little bit and just kind of promote the Christian hip hop that's out there and put and get it out there, aren't you? Yeah, man. It's like it's just inside of me, man. It's inside of me. I just desire to do a lot more than than one thing. You know, God has put it inside of me, so. I can't hold on, and especially when I see somebody doing exactly the same thing I'm doing, I just want to support them and make sure that I'm helping them in any way, shape, and form. So being an active individual and just uh, longing to see God glorified, I'm looking for platforms where I could help other artists. And um, through Freedom Music Group, God is making a way. Yeah, let's break into a little bit more. Like, um, Tell us, like, are you working on any new music right now? Yeah, always, man. As a musician, it's like life is music. <laughs> yeah, man, I feel you. You know what I mean? So I wake up, if my mood, my mood is um, not so right, I'll have melodies to kind of, you know, release my stress or my frustration. So life is music, and with that, I'm saying, yeah, I'm working with music, but I'm not really in a position to start to pinpoint, really, and say, this is what I'm working on, it's coming, so that. Yeah, plenty, plenty will be coming my way because my lifestyle is music. Music is my life, it's my passion, and God uses music in me to deliver a message. So yeah, I mean, I feel it. It's like obviously you, I guess as an artist, you always got like something going on where I'm the same. Like I got my clothing, so sometimes it just hits me. Like I, I come with up with a, like a design, and I've got a, you know, I've either got like make a note of it on my phone, or I go into illustration i start designing it but it's the same with, i guess with music it's like sometimes you, yeah. you might not be working on something that right then but you kind of briefly you know sometimes you just get given something don't you and you feel like you gotta go and you know what i mean do it straight away kind of thing get in the studio and put out a freestyle or something yeah it's exactly the same principle man because um even with that like i still get my phone's ringing there's people calling me say hey come come to this um do a little freestyle here come to this um do an interview here so it's like I'm always writing things that I can be able to release today or tomorrow. But um, in, in order for me to actually speak of a, a project that's coming, I'm not at that stage, but music is needed. It's there. <laughs> yeah, man, I feel you, man. And you got your friend, e- is it EK, with you right now? Yeah, man, my, my brother EK is with me. <laughs> <laughs> and what is he? He's a rapper as well, right? EK, I'll let him speak for himself, but let me big him up because he probably won't big himself up as much as I would. So EK is a talented rapper. EK is a producer. EK is an aspiring um, record label. He's he's just got so much going on in his side. So coming together has already allowed us to fellowship because we have the same goals, you know. So we are seeking the God to be glorified. So me and EK come together for music purpose and music ministry. I pass it on to him to add more to that. Amen, bro. How hey, are man, you? What's up, man? How you doing? EK. Yo, <laughs> tell us, tell us, tell everyone, like, what's up with you, man? Like, who you are, what you do. Obviously, like, um, Feeding was well, blessing you a little bit there, but tell us yourself, like, what, what's up uh, and what you do. Um, my name is, um, obviously, EK, as um, Tracy begged me up 
praise God for him. <laughs> um, but uh, my name is Elam Kasim. Um, I'm Turkish Cypriot. So um, I used to be a Muslim before I gave my life to Christ five mm-hmm. years ago. So um, now I used to be a secular rapper. It's now that I'm a gospel rapper. It's now. And um, putting into a new inspiration, I want to try and create a gospel record label. I'm trying to do production. Um, I make beats and everything for artists, commercial artists, for um, unsigned artists, for people that are trying to build themselves up into the gospel scene. Um, I'm also creating an album for myself, which is called Yok Sex Does Leg Gwana Schmuck. It's in Turkish. It means speak up or talk up, which means um, I want to speak about the issues um, that we need to try and bring people into Christ evangelizing because um, the great passion of mine is to evangelize and to win souls for Jesus. Brilliant, man. I mean, that sounds wicked. So um, I remember actually Freedom was telling me about he's got a friend who's got the, um, the, the, we're trying to start up the record label. So that's you, obviously, he was talking about. That's brilliant, man. Mm -hmm. So you're actually trying to get out there and and meet artists, I presume, and, and get some more people on board or what stage are you at now of trying to build that up? Um, basically, I'm trying to lay down the foundation for it properly. Um, basically, what I'm trying to do is to build um, a network of um, of a team to actually bring in the gospel scene. And I want to try and bring more of hip-hop scene into the UK where it's loud, like what's happening in USA. Like, you've got the 116 click, you've got Lecrae, you've got Triple, you've got the Truth Flame, you know, all of that. I want to try and bring that here and try and bring that in a submerged environment here in the UK because we don't have that much here in the UK. But yeah, in America, yeah, man. <laughs> I feel you, man. We need to have a conversation separate, man, because <laughs> I'm on the same. I'm on the same road, man. Yeah, yeah. like uh, the the USCHH is is booming, and um, yeah, over here we're. I think there's a lot of people that love um, Christian hip hop and grime and rap, and they're really into it. But I just the media coverage of it is like non-existent, really, at the moment, it seems. Exactly, and that's what my album is basically speaking about, because I want to speak about those type of issues, because there are some issues in the church where they speak against hip-hop, like they don't like hip-hop, yep. they think hip-hop is not for God, all yeah. of that. I want to speak about those things, but I want to try and do it in a metaphorical way. So to try and bring the light of Christ, the salvation of Christ, into their hearts. Yeah, man, I feel you, man. That's a big thing, because most of the church guys out there, they don't even realise that you can use hip-hop and rap to praise God. They, you know, And I guess I guess there's a fair point to why they think like that, is because most of the commercial stuff that they'd recognise as hip-hop and rap is so is so bad. I mean, it's just, you know, obviously um, derogatory language, racial slurs, swearing you know, yeah. uh, being negative. So that's all they think of when they, they hear hip-hop and rap. But, you know, little do they know and they need to know that actually there's Christian hip-hop out there. You can praise and worship God with, with hip-hop and rap. So, yeah, man. Exactly. Praise God. Exactly on my wavelength. So praise God for that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Man. We need to have a separate conversation, man, because I'm on the same thing. I'm on the same road as you, man. Like, I want to... Uh, that's why I'm doing this radio show. It's all about proclaiming to everybody out there like you know christians and non-christians like hey this is real like this is you know exactly but we'll do it by the grace of god because we are new creations now the old man has been put off the new man has come so you know we'll do it by the grace of god and it will be done in jesus name yeah definitely man amen to that yo listen yo i'm gonna play some music and then i'm gonna come back to you guys and have a little bit more chat and the freestyle right